Sharp, you know, this is the 21st year of our conversations. Oh, wow. Yeah. I first came to see you uh, April. We have a whole book to prove it. <laughs> we have a whole book to prove it. But I first came to see you April 1995 on the sets of Ram Jai. Oh, that long back. That long back, you were wearing a purple suit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I still have it. <laughs> you still have it? Yeah, you mean my, my Kolkata Night Riders? That's why it's purple. <laughs> I'm inspired by my purple suit. <laughs> by Ram Jane. I, I met a bad guy huh. who uh, had seen Ram Jane. And uh, he got so disturbed the way I played the bad guy. Huh. Because he said, Which bad guy have you seen who doesn't wear a shirt under a suit? That's right. Like, so he got so angry. I said, I'm really sorry. You know, I'm new to Mumbai. I don't know the bad guys from Mumbai. Your portrayal was not on point. And he got very disturbed. Cold chain. And I'm like, why flashy? Why you shirt? Why you not wear it? So I'm like, okay. <laughs> no, so you said things like, you know, I have four or five expressions. People think I'm gimmicky. Balls to them, which I thought was very funny. Uh, this was, of course, pre DDLJ's release. But my sense is that inherently you're still that guy. You're still charming, little cocky, very funny, relatable, and somehow still larger than life. Is is that a correct assessment? Are you still that man? Uh, I am. I mean, you know, people don't really change. I mean, people talk about evolving and X Y Z, but there are certain beliefs that you live by. And when you're younger, maybe it seems even stupid, so you talk more like that. But I think what you say in your childhood or youth is who you are. You may uh, garb it in uh, better speech patterns. I mean, I don't say balls to them anymore. I just said, yeah, I fall. <laughs> You're just a more polite I'm man just now. Polite now. So please, will you? I fall. So I, I, don't, I don't use language like that anymore. But uh, I, I think, yeah, somewhere, whether that belief was misplaced, whether the belief was right, whether it was something that comes instinctively from inside, I think that's what you are. Because sometimes you'll see your That's son. your essence. Yeah, that's your essence. Like you, you meet your son and you know, you'll be chatting. And how old is he? 18 now? He's going to be. Yeah, and he'll just say something. And you're like, how can you talk like this? Yeah, <laughs> all the time. Oh, yeah, it's not right. It's <gasps> not, uh, oh, no. But you know that he will be that person. Of course, he'll curb his way of talking. Of course, he'll understand better. But I think the essence comes out in that period of life, which kind of defines us finally. <laughs> but deep down inside, if you take off my shirt, say no. It's balls to them. Uh, yeah, and, and I have fair armpits. <laughs> We're going to take your word for that. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll show it. <laughs> you know, it's appropriate that we're having this conversation in Lisbon while you're creating a love story with Imtiaz Ali and Anushka Sharma. And I mean, you've spent half your life playing a man in love. Mm. With women who belong to other men, to begin with, in every right. movie. Right. I was just telling Imtiaz and Anushka, just before the shot, the conversation when you were watching it, huh. wasn't about the scene. I just told them I've made an art and profession out of loving women who are going to get married to someone, are already married or are engaged and then I run after them and then I get them from wherever they are, from any corner, sometimes with charm, sometimes with goodness, sometimes I throw them off the building but yeah. Did I, you get I them? I have a problem. <laughs> That's accepted. You have to accept it. I have to accept it. It's a, it's, it's a problem. It's chronic. And I need to do something about it. And the only thing I find doing about it is just keep doing it again and again and again. Maybe one day it will get rid, rid of me. But, but Jharuk, has your understanding of love and the portrayal of it in Hindi cinema, has it altered a lot? Or do you find yourself sort of going through the same beats? It's, it'll sound a little pompous and all-knowing. But I know all facets of it. However strange it may sound me saying it, when in interviews I'm very honest. So I'm telling you, it's, it's a shocking thing. Like you might find a person who knows all the theorems. You may find a person who knows uh, all the plays of Shakespeare. And and you'll find a lot of people who have all the knowledge about films. I am a lot like love. I honestly am. What does that mean? I am uh, <coughs> beautiful, not physically only. I'm I'm, I'm in, a, in, in a good in a different way. Yeah. Uh, I'm unpredictable. I'm charming. I make you glow, I make you sad, I destroy you, I distress you, I create longing for you, I create belonging in you. I can be the worst thing that happened to you. I could be the best thing that could happen to you. So I am genuinely like that and I believe in love like that and not just a man-woman love or man-man love or woman-woman love uh, of sensuality. I think even a... All kind of love. All kind of love. I know love very well. So I understand Aditya Chopra's love when he tells me to do Dilwan. I understand Intiaz is very good. 
and he told me once that you know, sir, I was a little wary. He would I'll tell you about love, but I can suddenly know what he means and where he's coming from without wanting to know his backstory. All of us have a backstory, which we kind of uh, expose in our cinema, especially writers and directors, actors still less. I'm not saying I'll be able to deliver just because I know love, because obviously I'm bound by <laughs> my five expressions. But uh, I really, really need to uh, say, yeah, I can, can I sense this? Can I feel it? Can I hold myself back? Okay, this scene is actually a love story. Oh, I, I keep doing it actually. Here. As I see, Adi would do this scene like this. Karan would do it like this because he's that lover. He's that lover. Jazz is going to do it like this. So I, 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 I get really intrigued by it. It's fortunate and unfortunate that if you try something completely in a dark space in a love story, I think people will get a little. Uh, It'll be too shocking. Yeah, they like it and they shouldn't do that. I mean, when you did uh, in Kank, when you went into that hotel oh, yeah, room, yeah. you know, people couldn't believe it was you with somebody else's wife. Yeah, and just to tell you, it was a body double. It wasn't. <laughs> Don't be <laughs> focusing. And I see movies. Everybody's doing it. That's you right. Know? That's right. Yeah, and uh, I, I was really taken aback when people reacted to that film. And I think, as an actor, uh, it, it was a very nice, cynical, uh, angry, rot. You know. And I remember somebody saying, "Wo to uske face pe dikhne lag gaya." So I kept my face and mm -hmm. you know, angst all the time. And I yeah, you were very curdled. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. And I remember suddenly, I got a feedback. Ki, you know, he is a hard thing. Karra hai na ye. Filmo me abhi sab. Uski shakal pe dikhra hai sa. So I was like, "Hey, it's just a movie." And you know, uh, that's one place where you have to have uh, extreme amount of freedom of expression. But if I'm going to be curbed sometimes by reactions, curbed means like you know, you get really shocked. But you pay attention to it. Does I it bother you? No, I still say uh, <laughs> what we <laughs> said 21 years. But it does uh, make the filmmaker actually think. Right, they yeah, become like, a little wary. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't talk to Karan. He was here. Maybe he would say, "Bhai, नहीं करते आपके साथ बड़ा backlash होता है." You know, I saw Suhana in a school play, and she was really good. And so I tweeted about how she was really good, and and you tweeted back to say that um, it's the same face, but she has. I have so much to learn from her. She has so much more brevity and grace. Do you think after all these years that you still haven't quite cultivated enough brevity and grace? No. Really? Two things have happened in the world. When I see someone like Sohana, I mean, obviously there's a bias or whatever people may think because she's my daughter. But some young actors, Alia, I've just finished her film. I get so amazed by the lack of life they have lived, but they can still express so much without knowing all the expressions of life yet, or mm -hmm. having felt them. My assumption is, I think Alia hasn't, Sohana hasn't. There's still more to see. You know, you always say, you know, when you see oh. life and then the experiences come on, and yeah. without having the experience. Still being able to convey uh, emotions, which I would take much longer because. So is it that my experience has given me more expressions and my brevity is gone? You see, craft is tangible; it can bind you. You know, and there is a there is a method to it. Art is free flowing. That's how we believe art is. You know, instinctive. Flowing, instinctive. Yeah. The poem that flies and then it just uh, comes. It just comes. Yeah, yeah. Whatever happens, but craft, as you go by, starts binding the art. So it stops being that free flowing. Because you start thinking of so many things to fix it, make it right, get the point through, mm. uh, make it stick. Uh, like Anushka and we were talking, is it right? We start asking that too often as an actor. So when I see a Sukhana do what she does, I'm like such a little because she's still not bound by the craft. And hopefully, before she gets bound, her art would have taken place. Mm. I think I, I've been given that opportunity. I'm not. Uh, I'm not tripping. I think I had that opportunity. But naturally, I think the craft coming in. takes away and then the nicest way to deal with it is to work with people who are not bound by the craft as yet have free flowing art and then imbibe what they do take it from them so i do that i think alia is very good hmm. i think she is really new uh, among the new people i haven't really seen uh, too many people have worked with actually hmm. but, but it genuinely makes you happy it makes me happy yeah. you see yeah. i don't like many actors hmm. i'm malice towards one and all of <laughs> Why? All actors have that. It's just—it just is. Huh? Always nice, you know. Somebody told me politicians all around the world uh, abuse in public mm. and hug in private. Actors all around the world hug in public and abuse in private. So actors have malice, you know, so, uh, and a good malice. It's not a bad malice. Mm. Mm. They're not like deciding to stab each other. Huh. I think I have the ease now. Uh, I don't have to prove it. I don't have to get it right. Mm. So I'm like, okay, let me just come in a scene. I'm not ill-prepared. Yeah. I think I, I just need to know my lines. I need to know my focus points. I need to understand what the scene is going to convey, 
Yeah. 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 Y